today i want to discuss about the concept and that concept is known as a result set metadata and that i want to do using the java to oracle connectivity so let me first save this program as demo1.java and here you can write the name of your class for example name of my class is demo1 i want to write the main function over here that is public static void main let me import the package and that is java.sql.star let me define the connection so i am writing here class dot for name and i want to load the driver so i am writing here that is oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver and here we have to throw the exception or we need to catch the exception why because might be a chance class not found exception is there over here in this for name method so your driver will be loaded once your driver is load you can define the connection for example let me define the connection con is equal to here you can write driver manager dot get connection in which you can provide the three argument first argument that is path to database second argument username and third argument is password so let me provide here username is scott password is tiger and here you can define the path to database so let me write here jdbc colon oracle colon theme colon slash slash at the rate localhost colon 1521 why i am writing localhost because my oracle is installed in current system only and orcl is the name of the service and or you can say it is a name of the database now once the connection is established you can create the instance of statement so let me write here statement stmt is equal to connection dot you can call the function create statement so your statement will be created now i want to create the instance of result set rs is equal to you can execute the query statement dot execute query right now i want to write the query over here and that query is what select employee name comma cell comma designation from emp so it's a very simple query that i bind in my result set object now i want to check how many column i provided over here right so for that you can use the class and that class is result set metadata you can say that metadata is what that is the data which defines the data so you can write here rm is equal to result set dot get metadata and whenever you call the function of result set metadata you will be access the number of column you will be able to access the data type of the column and you will be able to access column is retrieved from which table also for example let me write here rm dot get column count is the function so what happened over here i provided three columns over here then this function get column count will return me three that there are three columns written in this query right not only this you can also write like that that get column name of two so index is starting from one so second column is salary then it will return me that the second column is salary right even you can get the data type of the column also for example let me write here get column type name and i'm passing the index for example i want the data type of the column that is column number three so data type of column number three that is job will be written by this function so you can just save this particular program now you can compile your program over here that is java c demo one dot java and you can run this java desk class path ojdbc 14 dot jar semicolon dot and you can provide the name of your class that is demo one and you will be able to see that there are three columns second column is a salary and data type of the third column that is job data type is where care to it means that you can retrieve here 
but I want to do what? I want to provide this query that is user defined. So here, instead of this passing query into double quote, here you can write that arcs of zero. Right. So what it will do? It will take the query from the user. Now you can just save this. Now you can compile your code again. And that is Java C demo one dot Java. And now you can run this. But whenever you run, you can provide here the query. For example, let me write the query select. Now I am writing that select star from department. So this is the table, right? So select star from department. It says that there are three column available in this department table. D name is the second column and the last column has the data type that is worker 2. If you want to make changes over here, then also you can make the change. For example, let me make the changes into the query and the changes is what? Select department number, comma, max of salary, comma, average of salary, comma, sum of salary from employee group by department number. So this is the very simple query that I have written over here. And the meaning is what? Very simple. I'm selecting one, two, three, four columns, right? And even you can give the alias over here also. For example, let me write here. This is M cell. This is A cell, that is average cell. And this is S cell. It means it's a sum of salary. And you can press enter. And you will be able to see that the second column is M cell and that is maximum salary. And the data type of the third column is a number and there are four columns you have passed over here. Not only this, suppose if you write here that select star from EMP, then it says that total eight column available in employee table. And second column is E name and the third column has the data type that is where cat to. So now what I want to do, whenever a user write the query over here, I want to display the content of that particular data from Oracle into over here. So is it possible? Yes, it is possible. You can write the loop here and that is what while result set dot next is possible. So while rs.next is possible, just to retry the same, but what happened? I need the column, right? So which column, up to which column you want to retrieve all the records? So I need that how many columns available? So here we can write that integer n is equal to rm.get column count is the function. So what it will do? It will return me that how many columns user has provided in the query. And here we can write the loop. For example, for integer i equal to 1, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. So what it will do? It will run up to number of times. It will run up to number of times the user has provided the column. Suppose user has provided five columns, then this loop will run five times. And here we can write that system.out.printf, for example, percentage minus 15s and I want to get rs.getString of i. So what happened? If user provide here 10 columns, then this loop will run 10 times and you will get the one record. Why? Because 10 columns, one record. Then I want to iterate a one more record. So here you can write system dot out dot print line. So what happened over here, whatever the query you supplied over here, it will check for the number of column. Once you get the number of column, it will retrieve the data from each and every column for each row and it will be displayed. So once it is done, now no need to write this particular three line because we now writing the query that is dynamic. It means that user may provide the one column or user may provide the three columns. So now I don't want to get the specific index. I want to run my query up to number of columns that whatever the user provide. Now you can just save this. Here you can just compile your code Java C demo one dot Java and you can run this Java 
this class path ojdbc14 dot jar semicolon dot you can provide the name of your class demo one and here you can write the query for example let me write the query select name comma salary from employee and you will be able to see here each and every name add salary from the employee table not only this suppose if you think that sir i don't want to write the two columns i want to write the three columns i want the employee number also then you will get the employee number also and suppose if you say is that sir i want to write here star then you can write the star and you will be able to retrieve all the records it means that it is taking number of columns it means a star so what happened in this particular case whenever you press a star it means that it will retrieve n columns here get column count so n will store the all the columns and up to that particular column i am just retrieving the data right but i don't want to display only this i want the respective column name also it means that this is employee number this is employee name this is job this is manager right so i want each and every column name over here so is it possible to write the column name before this yes and that also you can do using the result set metadata so let me write here one loop so no need to write this so let me simply remove this here let me write the loop for example for integer i equal to 1 i less than or equal to now how many columns are there so let me write this n above this loop right so i can use this n over here so 1 to n i'm running the loop and here one function is there and that is get column name so here we can write system dot out dot printf and here we can write percentage minus 15 as rm dot get column name and here you can pass i so what happened the title will be printed over here and once the title is printed you can just write the system dot out dot print line so what happened in this particular case it will display the title also and it retrieves the title from the query and that is possible using the result set metadata class you can just save this now you can just simply compile your code and that is java c demo one dot java and you can run this for example let me write here select star from employee and you will be able to see here employee number name job manager hire date salary commission and department number not only this suppose if you write here the query select star from dpt then you will be able to retrieve department number department name and location and suppose if your query is different for example if you are writing the joining query over here select the name department name and salary as well as i want the grade of the salary from employee e join dpt d on e dot department number is equal to d dot department number join cell grade on salary between low salary and high salary so whenever you run this you will be able to see here that this is the record of king 6000 is the salary and the grade is five it means that there are four columns you have mentioned over here in this query so it's a dynamic query you can write any query over here and you will be able to retrieve the data just because of this result set metadata but not only this i want to draw a line over here is it possible to draw the line and that is uh, suppose if user provide four columns then the line should be up to four columns only and if user provide five columns then line should be up to five columns only right so is it possible Yes, it is possible here after writing the column name, you can write the loop again and that this loop again and you can paste over here. Now here you can say that I equal to one I less than N multiply by 15, right? So what it will do this loop will run 
15 times more than the number of columns and you can write this so what happened suppose if you have four column then this days will be run up to 15 into 4 so you will get 60 days it means that 15 times for each column this days will be displayed suppose if you are writing one column then 1 into 15 15 days will be there if you are writing four column then 15 into 4 60 days will be there you can just save this now you can just simply compile your code that is java c demo one dot chart and you can run your query again and that is this query that is employee name department name salary grade from employee and you will be able to see here the output suppose if you are writing only two columns for example let me write the two columns and that is select employee name comma salary from employee then your desk will be up to only two columns and that is employee name and salary and suppose if you are writing three columns employee name salary and job then your desk will be up to three columns even you can write the where clause also for example if i am writing where job is equal to clerk then you will get the data based on your query that you can do in a java and you can retrieve the record of oracle